Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lum Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing one of Coke's special limited edition ones and this one is going to be in the intergalactic flavour, whatever on earth that is supposed to be, or whatever in space that is supposed to be, shall I say. So it's one of the limited edition ones, um, had this for a little while now, I didn't get around to reviewing it actually, but um, we're reviewing it now, so here we are. Anyways, so let's give you guys a 4360 of the can, so it's a 250ml can to start with, which is always nice. Now I have to say, this is probably the most awesome looking can design I've ever seen. I mean, certainly ever seen on a Coke can for a start, but in terms of just overall can design, in terms of just the colors and the freaking awesomeness of this can, I think it's got to be one of the bestly designed looking cans I think I've ever seen. You know, some of the cans that I got lots of fancy artwork, yeah, they look great and they look fine and stuff, but something, you know, the, the past kind of, five ten years you know kind of space theme and kind of you know all this i mean even my bag light you know kind of like that a nice purpley mixed bluey kind of nebula type colors really really shot up in popularity and purple and kind of a mix of space colors are really really popular now in terms of lighting and everything else and desktop backgrounds and phone themes and stuff so it was only a matter of time before it came to drink cans and i, I just love the can design. I mean, look at it. It is just beautiful. There's a gorgeous blend of purple. Uh, you've got a bit of red on there, black at the bottom, all the white, you know, little dots for the stars. You've got the lovely black font and writing which matches it perfectly. It just really, really looks an awesome looking can design. Just again, these mix and shades of colours just look really, really modern and just, just nice, don't they? They look just absolutely incredible. But I was ruined by that which kind of looks a bit stupid, but if you take that off, then I'll just left with a beautiful looking can. Anyways, that's the can, that's the bottom of it, that's the top, which is all standard as well, which is a shame, it'd be nice to finish that off in red of some sort, a reddish or purpley colour, but there we go, it's just it's just standard silver. Now taking a close look at the can, so of course, as this is intergalactic, there's really not too much of interest on here whatsoever, all you need to know is that it's zero sugar, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's zero sugar and there's just no no interest of what the actual drink is so i said zero sugar and it says in, it's called intergalactic now there's been a lot of speculation online of what this is supposed to be now i don't think coke has still not actually released and told anyone what it is but you know from people saying it people are saying that it smells like bar popcorn people are saying it smells like raspberry people are saying it smells like burnt caramel people are saying it tastes like cherry people saying it people saying all sorts of different things so it seems to be different for every single person so i'm really interested to see what this comes out as so we'll see anyways it's nice and cold got my zesty lime studios cups so going to open it pour all into the cup and then we will find out right don't explode over me there we go oh blow that was loud Anyway, so I'm going to pour it into the cup. And then it's red. Quite fizzy, as Coke generally always seems to be. There you go, so I'm just going to pour it all in, put that to one side. So, I said, quite a lot of fill out your spec with Coke and quite a lot of bubbles on the side as well. Although one side's not, but the other sides seem to be seem to be quite bubbly as well the color yeah it is a reddish color um quite a deep red color you can kind of see my face through the drink although my you can see my phone and room light in the background but there we go but yeah you can see the reflections through the drink anyway so let's give it a closer smell and see what we can smell of hmm it does kind of have a It does kind of have a buttery smell, to be honest with you, I will give it that. It doesn't really smell fruity as such or anything like that. Now just for other reference as well, I know it says intergalactic, but Coke literally say this tastes of space. So yeah, whatever, whatever that is. Yeah, it smells, yeah, it smells a bit buttery. 
Very similar to a recent frappe I had recently, which was a buttery frappe taste, which is interesting. Yeah, it does smell like that. That's a very interesting smell, that is. Well, nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think my initial reaction to the taste of it is it really doesn't taste of anything, really, to be honest with you. It just tastes almost like. It almost just tastes very similar to just Coke, Coke in general. I'm not not the full sugar Coke, but or neither diet either. But it just tastes very similar to zero in a way. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything there, but I really can't see it. Or taste it, shall I say? Hey, there just isn't much flavour there whatsoever. Hmm. Now, now the thing is, I did have a look online um, at what other people were saying, like a little while ago. And again, they literally, it tastes different for every single person. You know, so some people say it tastes like that, some people say it tastes like this. From what I'm getting is, and I did see someone say it tastes like flat, normal flat Coke, zero. But I mean, mine isn't flat, but um, I can kind of see what that person was saying, because that's kind of what the representation I got was in my head and some people said you know it tastes like cherry or raspberries because maybe it's a trickery on the red the red drink and the obviously the kind of reddish purpley can obviously gives you kind of a you, your mind's a powerful thing and it kind of is giving people like you know you're expecting the taste of cherry or something like that i'm getting none of that whatsoever so i think this really is a individual drink on an individual basis for everyone's taste buds and of course it does depend on what you've recently eaten and how long you've brushed your teeth and vice versa oh excuse me guys fizzy as always these drinks are super fizzy so i think ultimately with feet yeah it just feels like just a, a, a almost just a, a weird coke zero really i mean ultimately it is coke zero just with whatever they've supposed to done to it but um yeah it definitely smell, smells better than it tastes yeah, it's just got that buttery smell, but it doesn't taste like that whatsoever. It's just, I reckon you've given this to someone, they won't be able to tell the difference between this and Coke Zero. Yeah, well, I don't know. You know, it's nice and cold, it's been in my fridge. You know, it's nice and crisp and refreshing, it's nice and fizzy and everything like that. I mean, it's fine, like I'll drink the rest of that off of camera, but it's just like, uh, okay, just tastes like a similar Coke Zero, but not the best in the way. Hmm, interesting though. Interesting that everyone's got a different opinion on what this tastes like. So, if, you know, take up what you will from that. You'll probably buy this drink and do it. And although you can't buy this anymore, actually, I don't think. Certainly interesting, but um, yeah, it's just more so just to have a nice can for display purposes. But there we go. Well, I think overall though, I think yeah, just a bland really Coke Zero in a way, really not really too much. So is what other people have said as well. So I've certainly, certainly, yeah, it's the same bracket as some other people. So there we go. I think overall on the uh, Zesty Point chart, I think I'll probably give it a, probably three Zesty Points out of 10, just because, well, yeah, it's just a bit dull and boring for what it is. But I mean, I like Coke Zero anyway, which is fine, but yeah, it's just, Eh, just not that great so there we go well anyways viewers as always thank you for watching and i'll see you all later